Hi, I'm Courtney Swain, the Family and Consumer Science Agent at Cooperative Extension. And thank you so much again for joining us on the Cooking with Courtney show. We have a very exciting show today as Cooperative Extension is celebrating their 100th birthday. Hence the balloons we have in the background. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what we are doing in Stanley County to celebrate our 100 years a little later in the show. Today we are making breakfast. We're making breakfast pies as well as breakfast yogurt parfaits. They are to die for. I teach a nutrition class to third graders and they really love them. So I'm going to share that recipe with you today. And we also have Carolyn Davis here Hi. from Natural Spring Farms. And she's going to tell us a little bit about her farm. And they were so kind to donate the sausage for today's breakfast pies as well as their lovely eggs we have here. So Carolyn, could you tell us a little bit about your farm? Sure. We are a small farm by design is what we like to call ourselves. Um, we wanted to kind of walk away from commercial food, so to speak. So we began raising uh, chickens and pigs and cows and um, we sell at the Stanley County Farmers Market as well as Stanley County Farmers Market. And we do have a website as well, naturalspringfarms.com, that you can place an order. And we have pickup locations around the area that they can get our products. Wonderful. And how did you get started? Um, well, I was a dairy <laughs> farmer's daughter back in West Virginia. But um, for many years, we lived in Winston-Salem. And when my husband's job required that we relocate to this area. We decided we wanted some land and we wanted to get back into farming. Um, so we got in touch with, uh, once we found the land, we got in touch with some other farmers to uh, see what they were doing and we just slowly grew our, our farm. We work with other farms, um, Barrier Farm, we get our non-GMO feed from for our animals so that uh, we are providing a quality product to the consumers out there. Wonderful and thank you again for being here with us today and helping me on the show because yeah. she's already been a big help this morning. <laughs> so let's get started. We're making breakfast pies and it yields two pies. We've already gone ahead and browned our pie crust and I just bought the pie crust right out of the frozen section I think it was $1.98 for two pies. Um, so we've gone ahead and browned those at 400 degrees for about eight minutes. And um, we'll talk a little bit later. We put a little foil around our pie crust so that it wouldn't brown anymore while they were in the oven. So the first thing we need to do is, like I said, we've already browned our pie crust and we've browned one pound of pork sausage. And I just want to show you guys, because I know that this would be amazing to you all. Yeah. We're going to drain what we've got here. And keep in mind, Carolyn brought us one pound of sausage. And normally, Carolyn, you probably know this just yes. as well, yes. there's tons of grease yeah. that comes out. We, we raise our pigs in such a way that they are lean. Um, there is enough fat in the meat to cook the meat nicely, um, but I believe Courtney's going to show you there isn't a whole lot left over. So when a recipe calls for you to drain your meat, um, there's not a whole lot there. Look at this. I cannot believe there's only this little bit of grease in that pound of meat. It is just amazing to me. So, Carolyn, if you want to tell us a little bit about your eggs that you have at Natural Spring Farms, we'd love to, to hear about them. Well, we have, let me um, here pick this up just a little bit. We have in this, we have um, a variety of chickens on our farm. So you get a colorful pa palette of color when you uh, get eggs from us. We've got um, a black copper moran egg. These two are Americana eggs. Uh, this is probably a Rhode Island red, uh, and I'm not sure which one laid our white eggs, but we have a few mm -hmm. white egg layers, and we also have a duck egg, and I believe our pie is going to contain a duck egg, is it? Yes. Not? Yes. So, um, we have these by the dozen and by the flats. So. And we have cheated a little bit. We've cut this recipe in half so that we can go ahead and have our magic breakfast pie come out when our 
one goes in that we're going to prepare for you on the show today. So yes. normally it would actually take four eggs to make the two pies, but since we've cut our recipe in half, and you can do this at home too if you don't need two pies, we just need two eggs. And so we are going to do a duck egg, and Carolyn, if you want to okay. um, crack that for us. Now mm -hmm. these duck eggs, it's the first time I've ever really worked with a duck egg. Yeah, they, they are much harder. So you've really got to crack them a little harder than a regular egg. And you can see the yolk. There's a little bit more yolk than a regular um, chicken egg. All right, let's pick out one of these beautiful eggs we have here. And they are free range eggs, so they're a little tougher to crack than a regular egg that you get at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to whisk these before we get our sausage and our cheese in there. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and whisk our milk in. Okay. And normally it takes one cup for the full recipe, but like I said earlier, we've cut it in half, so that's a half a cup of milk. All right, Carolyn, if you want to get our sausage mm -hmm. in there. Perfect. Let's see if we can... Mmm, smells delicious. Yes, it does. I wish you all could smell it because <laughs> it really smells good. All right. Okay, so we've got our sausage, our... That would be a pound of sausage, but this is just a half a pound since we cut it in half. Our two eggs as well as our half a cup of milk. And now it does take a lot of cheese. So a full recipe takes two cups of cheddar and two cups of mozzarella. But we've got it down to one cup of each. And I'm going to save a little to top the top it with our um, oh, just a little cheese on top. Okay, and we'll mix that up. That looks yummy. Mm, it does look yummy. Who doesn't love eggs, cheese, and sausage? I don't, I don't think they'd be American no, if they didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> and with Easter coming up, this is really a great Easter brunch recipe if you celebrate Easter in your household. If not, this is great to take to a function where it might be potluck for breakfast or just to enjoy with your family. And they do freeze really well. So you could make the full recipe and bake them and then put them in the freezer. They do freeze very well. All right. All right. Carolyn, if you would like to grab our pie crust for us. Will do. Thank you very much. Do you want me to? Perfect. All right. And I went ahead and put it on a cookie sheet so that when we, um, when we take it out, it's a little easier for us to take it out of the oven. And like I said, we have browned it, and Carolyn was so kind, and she went ahead and put foil around our crust, because you can see that it got a little brown when we browned our pie crust, and you can see that Carolyn, our <laughs> wonderful assistant chef today, poked, um, poked little holes with a fork in there so it wouldn't rise up too much. So we've got our foil around there so it won't be burnt when we take it out. Nobody likes a burnt crust. We're just going to put that in our pie crust. And then you're going to put the cheese on top, right? Yes. The leftover cheese. And you can see we have plenty of cheese, so this is really just... And I should have probably not dumped so much cheddar cheese in there, but I got a little carried away. Oh. Can't have too much cheese, can That's you? That's right. <laughs> no, I don't think so. All right, looks like we're ready to put that right. in our oven. And you do, when, after you've browned your pie crust at 400 degrees for about eight minutes, you do need to knock that temperature down to 350. And we're gonna put this in the oven between 35 and 40 minutes. Let's go ahead and put that in our oven. Check on our magic pie that will be coming out. We've got about 10 more minutes there. So while we are waiting for that, we're going to show you a healthy Let me get this out of your way. fruit recipe. Thank you very much, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. 
Let me get that egg cleaned up off of there as well. Just getting rearranged for our next one here. Okay. Now this is called a banana split yogurt parfait. My kids are going to love this. Yes, they will. <laughs> And I'm going to show you a trick. I used to be a teacher before I came to Cooperative Extension, and a child in the cafeteria once showed me this trick. I always peeled it like this. Yes. He said, wait a second, Miss Swain. If you just pinch this, it comes right off. And you don't tear it. Very and you don't tear it. So I learned something from my students. And we just pinch that in half. And we have our bowl here, and you just use a half of banana, get a knife out, and you just split it lengthwise. So you can see I've already got, we've got three now for us. Put that there. And this is just Greek vanilla yogurt. You can use regular yogurt, or you could use a flavored yogurt. If you don't like vanilla, you could try strawberry, peach, plain. The, the Greek yogurt has the pro, probiotics, correct? Yes, very good. <laughs> and it has a little extra protein. Very good. And that's exactly what people want, to get more bang for their buck, especially for breakfast, because really when we're eating breakfast, a lot of times people don't get all their food groups in, which you don't need all the food groups, but you do want to try to get at least three food groups in. So right here with our little breakfast um, banana split parfait, we're getting three food groups because we've got our fruit, mm -hmm. our dairy, and then we'll also have our grains. So we're going to add a little strawberry. Now you could add as much or as little, and you can really choose what other, whatever kind of fruit you would like. So, so you could do blueberries if they were in season. Yes. Or there or you, you could do blackberries or grapes. That person not going to get quite as much pineapple. And then we've got cantaloupe. It was on sale at the grocery store, so went ahead and grabbed that as well. And then a little granola to top it off. Now, if you don't have granola or you don't care for granola, you can just use a whole grain cereal. Sometimes granola can be a little expensive. Just top that. Oh, that looks so yummy. Oh, that does. Now this could be your whole breakfast. Or it could just be part of your breakfast. We've got our banana split yogurt parfaits ready for us now. <laughs> All right, we're going to go check on that breakfast pie that's over here baking. See what we've got here. Oh, that sure looks yummy. But I think we could brown it just a little bit longer. Oh my, Carolyn, we've got quite the surprise today. Buns? Buns! In the oven! In the oven! <laughs> because there's a bun in this oven right here. My husband Matthew and I are expecting the baby come um, October 1st, 2014. So I thought I'd share that with you guys today. It may not be the healthiest, but it's a special occasion around here. We're celebrating 100 years as well as a bun in the oven. <laughs> All right, so while we're waiting for that breakfast pie to brown a little bit longer, I'm going to tell you about our celebration that we're going to have on June 7th here in Stanley County to celebrate our 100 years. Wonderful. Oh man, who gets to ever celebrate 100 years <laughs> of an organization? So it's, we're pretty excited. It will be June 7th at the Stanley, um, the Stanley County Farmers Market, and it's a farm to fork breakfast. And mm -hmm. our goal is to use local foods from local farms in our area. And we'll have it at, we'll have two seatings, one at 9 a.m. and one at 11 a.m. And tickets go on sale, excuse me, I have to look at my notes, go on sale Monday, May 5th at the Albemarle Downtown Development. And they also have a website, and you can always call our office for more information as well. And our number is 704-983-3987 if you're interested in purchasing a ticket. 
The tickets are going to be $10 because it will be a catered breakfast using the local foods from this area. I bet those will go quick, so they... I know, so you better <laughs> make sure you call right there on May 5th. And um, also there will be entertainment during the breakfast to celebrate our 100 years. So I sure hope you all can join us on June the 7th at the Stanley County Farmers Market. All right, Carolyn, why don't we go ahead and set the table with our yogurt parfaits. Okay. I'll take this one. Okay. And then we'll check on our breakfast pie. And we are ready for spring around here and cannot wait for the weather to stay warm and sunny. You can tell with our bright colors. All right. What do you think, Carolyn? Looks good to me. Nice and cheesy. Mmm. Look at that. Ooh, that looks beautiful. I'll let you get by. Let me get a, something to set this on so we don't burn our countertop. Okay, and this should probably cool for about three to five minutes before we cut into it. Otherwise, it won't come out really nicely. Yeah. And we don't, we don't want that to happen. But while we're waiting, let's see. I used to be a dishwasher and I don't, my hands just don't feel heat as much. Uh oh, it took a little crust off. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens. Actually, it's happening a lot here. There we go. Okay. All right. Looks homemade to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. I bet you could add um, some veggies like onions and green oh, pepper. Oh, that's a great in idea. In there as well, uh, yes. if, if that's what you like. Yes, that would be a great idea. Or um, peppers, onions, mm -hmm. mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, that would be delicious. <laughs> so we're going to let that cool for about three to five minutes, and we'll see you back here in just a few seconds. Okay. Well, um, we've waited about three to five minutes to let our breakfast pie cool so we can get it cut. So we're going to go ahead and cut that. Oh, it looks good. It does look good. And one way you can tell this is done is that our egg is no longer jiggling. Get you a plate. Yes, that would be great. Thank you, Carolyn. Whoopsies, dropped part of my crust. Okay. Oh, that oh, looks yummy. Beautiful. That crust there. All right. That's my favorite part of a pie. Yes. The crust. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, let's go have a seat and enjoy a little right. breakfast. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Mmm. Boy, it must be that sausage and eggs that you helped oh. us donate. It Thank is good. Thank you so much. It really is delicious. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us on Cooking with Courtney. And thank you, Carolyn from Natural Spring Farms for joining us today and donating the sausage as well as the egg. And also, we'd like to thank Stanley Community College for filming today's show. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.